Hello boys and girls, horror fans of all ages, welcome to my latest horror movie review for the month of October. On this video I will be talking about Tales from the Crypt presents Bordo, Bordado, Bordello, I think that's the word of blood from 1996, the, the tiles in on the video so i'm sorry if i butchered the word um and this movie's on netflix in the uk if you guys want a, a cheap and easy way to check it out so this is like has to be like the third tales from the crypt movie of course a spin-off from the popular anthology shows and you obviously had comics and well this one is like a whole plot so it's 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 like one long plot but you do get the crypt keeper at the beginning and then i think at the end and he's he's joined in by william sadler who's there to help tell the story as well and he's he has a bit of a history with this series. He appeared in, I think it was the first episode of the show actually, but he's really hamming it up. Um, so we open with this kind of setup, which is this um, whole thing, almost like this this crazy like B movie version of an Indiana Jones type setup. Um, where you have like this almost like this vamp sort of mummy that's revealed um, and uh, yeah that's that's actually a lot of fun that scene there's just some fun gore stuff happening and so, some good hammy sort of antics and then it cuts to uh, William Sadner who I think is like dressed as a mummy or something and as I said he the chemistry between him and and the the crypt keeper is just off the chart they're just so insane you've got Sadler like as I said hamming it up and it cuts to the crypt keeper just like rolling his eyes which is his reactions are so so good but they then obviously start telling the story um there's like eye popping i should say in that opening but we get like eye popping like gross out gore effects um and also it's revealed that she is indeed a vampire but the story itself the main one that they're telling is of the um this basically this this evil centelic um, whorehouse which is <clears throat> in 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 the grounds of like this um, this what appears to be like uh, like a, a funeral home and these like randy raunchy teenage boys led by um, Cordy Feldman who Corey Feldman sorry who has got all the shit on his face you know the, the not literally but like the the um the piercings and stuff he's got the lever on he's trying to rebel he's trying to like be countercultural all this sort of stuff um even though his sister tries to keep him in line his sister played by the baywatch actress and um she was in i think it was the first um, under siege movie i forget her name erica something but she's kind of one of the leads we will get to who the other lead as well but at the beginning yeah um cory foundman and his friends they're just looking to like cut loose and have fun and basically get laid um and they're not having much luck in the local pub um, I sort of enjoyed them actually being sort of like put in their place by this this sort of bitchy sort of barmaid. Um, that's pretty funny. But basically, they they hear about like this wild whorehouse, um, 
and so so they go there and obviously the whole catch is then it's really like this demon type brothel um so the owner who's like this this quirky sort of almost paul bearer sort of character he invites them in and and they go in like the coffin and they just go through to like this other room and it's all these you know vixen and like vampy types and they think they're in heaven but they're actually in hell and oh my god you've got um i think her name's like lyrith or something like that the, the vampire who we saw at the beginning she's like one of them and yeah basically things take a turn for the boys um so then the sister played by the Baywatch actress is, is obviously looking frantically for the Corey Feldman character, her brother, because he kind of sneaked out without telling her she can't find him. So she goes to the local police station, but there's no luck there that they're not taking it seriously. They're, they're kind of laughing at her. Um, so then you have this character played by Larry Miller who's like a private detective um, and Larry Mill is like a stand-up comedian in America that's probably what he's best known for although he has appeared in a few movies um, I think he was in The Net with Sandra Bullock but yeah he's playing like this kind of kind of I don't know expiring sort of like sleuth this private detective who's looking to um get his big break so he tries to sweet talk um i, I forget her name actually but the sister in, into like letting him take the case and it's sort of this thing where he's like flirting with her and at first you think he's just like hitting on her which he kind of is but i think in a way it's just He's just trying to be charming, I think, to, to get her to let him have this case. So he basically takes the case um, because, hey, she doesn't have that many other options. So it's partly about like the investigation. And then there's this stuff going on because she is like a producer or, or something, works on the stage at this like outrageous like um like religious sort of tv show where you have another well-known face chris sarandon as this like over-the-top flamboyant kind of sleazy like pasture who's like the presenter and he does this whole thing where he like rocks out basically which is yeah pretty funny but she's like something like the producer or works for that so she's very like religious and i think that's something which is like played up for laughs in the film just the contrast between the the larry miller character you know he's kind of this this cynical like deadpan down to earth sort of streetwise guy who's obviously always like making fun of like religion and stuff um and yeah then you have this this whole like she's very innocent but kind of naive like she's taken in by this stuff but i think the chris sarandon stuff it his character i think he's meant to be like a red sort of hair in like potentially he could be behind the whole church or behind the whole demon brothel but turns out not to be the case but he's he's sort of set up as a, as a red herring um i will actually say the um the larry miller character his name is something like um it's like um gutman it's something gutman oh it's rafe rafe gutman that is a, that is a five star name I have to say and it's so sort of funny because the the Sarandon character at one point he like he like calls him Mr Goodman instead 
instead of Gutman and he has to be like corrected but that's the whole plot and um, unfortunately it, it's a bit naff really once you get into like the main plot of the film it's, it's no most of what we see in, in, in the main story is nowhere near as as ex exciting or, or entertaining or, or funny as as what we saw in like the cold sort of opening that sort of wrap around um i think there's some really cheesy and lame puns i mean at one point like the, the you know the vampire she kind of says do not eat your tongue do not eat eat your heart out that's my job and you kind of have quite you know cheesy cheap sort of like gore effects time which is which is part of the fun of course um i think larry mill is quite good i think he's you know he's he, he does have some funny sort of lines um and i think he is quite like believable in that role he's quite sort of credible but there's there's no real chemistry between him and um you know the the Baywatch actress i mean the, the sort of romantic chemistry just is just isn't there really um they like lay on the the pop culture references to just so so thick um there's a cameo by Whoopi Goldberg because of course there is um I think a lot of the jokes are like just rubbish like sitcom jokes that just feel so sort of tired and kind of hackneyed um yeah there's all sorts of like cheesy and bad bad puns um there's you know one about sort of giving head <laughs> which is which is pretty bad um let's see, keep it oh yeah it's i've got it right here I'll, I'll read this for you i just love a man who gives you head and lets you keep it and that's because she's like ripped off his head sort of thing um but yeah there's even this scene near the end when the miller character says you know, it's kind of like a bad episode of Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> and, yeah, that's just so, so meta to, to a ridiculous point. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's I'm not going to shit on it totally. It's, it's kind of goofy fun. Um, it's kind of so hammy that, that you do sort of enjoy it. Uh, as I said, Mill is okay. Cordy Fe Corey Feldman is the least convincing bad boy I've maybe ever seen on screen, which is pretty funny. But there's some goofy, cheesy puns that they're not really trying. The ending was kind of fun. It it sort of has its moments. I, I did actually enjoy the scene near the end, which is set to like Ballroom Brit Blitz, the song where like the reverend and the surrender character and Melva starts kicking some major butt but they're actually like using like these you know like the square the water pistol type guns the squirt it sort of thing where they're like almost like machine guns that shoot more, and they're just like kill shooting up these these vamps with these water and but the whole thing is is like holy water so it's like killing them but that bit is just it's just like they let rip and it's it's kind of glorious that bit i think you can tell the cat the actors are in a blast so so i did enjoy that bit um but it has its moments but overall it's it's pretty lame and kind of cheesy and cliched and just not that exciting it's not you know I, I i i just think for a lot of it it's it's just bad and weak and it's not really bad in an entertaining sort of way um there's some pretty bad acting in it um 
and it does drag that's the thing even though it's quite a short movie it, it, it does drag even for its length so it's not the best <laughs> not the worst neither I have to say but there you have it that's Tales from the Crypt presents Bordello of Blood and as I said it's on Netflix in the UK so you can check it out quite easily I'm sure you can find it other places as well I'll give it 4 out of 10 but if you've seen the movie let me know your, your comments below like and subscribe to the channel to help content like this keep coming you can also get me up on twitter for any questions i'll put the twitter handle in the description um or the address um yeah find me on letterbox as well i probably put the letterbox link in the description as well and ding the bell on youtube it lets you know um yeah when when a new video goes live and all the rest of it but i'll see you guys again soon i'll be back soon with another horror movie review happy october goodbye